Breaking news. A draft of an official Supreme Court opinion was leaked to the press last week in an extremely rare case of the court's confidentiality being breached. Of course, this isn't the first time that government secrets have become public before they were supposed to. The Pentagon Papers, Deep Throat and Watergate, the Panama Papers, WikiLeaks, the Snowden Leaks. It seems that some monumental government leak happens every decade or so. The difference is that it rarely involves the Supreme Court. But I guess we can't really be surprised when a secret gets out. As long as there are people alive who know the secret, there's always the possibility of someone saying something. Which is why Genghis Khan knew that the only way that he could keep the location of his buried body a true secret was to have everybody involved killed. But hey, guess what? It worked. Because to this day, the burial site of the legendary Mongol conqueror is a mystery lost to time. Another way of dealing with leaks is just accepting and expecting them to happen. At least a little bit. Like when millions of taxpayer dollars are spent to build dams, engineers expect about 1% of the water that is being contained to leak every year. In fact, many dams have dedicated structures called weirs or spillways to allow overflow water to divert safely. Because of course, flooding water can be extremely dangerous. Which brings us to possibly the deadliest leak in history. The Banqiao Dam failure. In 1975, following Typhoon Nina, the dam failed, which cascaded into another 61 dams failing across Henan, China. The death toll is still uncertain to this day, but estimates put casualty numbers between 26,000 and 240,000. What's worse? is that the Chinese Communist Party covered up the disaster for 20 years until the information itself was also leaked in 1995. Of course, water and information aren't the only things that leak and cause havoc. Molasses does too. No, that's right, I said molasses. Turns out, even when a substance is literally as slow as molasses, it can still destroy a neighborhood in Boston in 1919. 2.3 million gallons of molasses burst from a tank, creating a 25-foot-high wave that ripped through streets and killed 21 people and injured 150. Oh, and the speed of molasses that day? 35 miles an hour. Just goes to show that leaks usually lead to sticky situations. And now, back to your regularly scheduled programming. Turns out, I am way slower than molasses. <laughs> Figures.